What's up, JD Aliens? Look, I got me a new microphone set and I'm kind of pumped up about it because I really like video gear. Let's do it. Okay, let's get into this thing. Now, when you get yours, this is the box. Mine came in just uh, a regular Amazon box and then this was sitting in there and some wrapping. So I haven't unboxed this yet. So this is actually a live unboxing and you're gonna get to see what I see as I see it. And there it is. All right, you get this. First of all, let's look at this case, man. This is a boss status case right here. Looks like you got some money in it, but I don't. So don't be trying to run up on me. Anyways, you get this. Let me see. We got some instructions here, which I probably will need. Now, as I was reading online, this bad boy is fully wireless and it comes with two transmitters. Yeah, two transmitters and a receiver, which is super nice because now you can have two people mic'd up wirelessly and you should not have any interference and troubles with that kind of stuff. But one of the things that really attracted me to this one from PhotoWell is that it is rechargeable. The batteries are rechargeable. So uh, you're supposed to get somewhere between six and eight hours of uh, battery time on these bad boys. Between six and eight hours, uh, I wish it was a closer gap. Like I wish they could really gauge like precisely. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you do have some battery indicators there. So let's fire this one up real quick. Okay, so you got a battery indicator there. So I was worried about that. Like how much time, like how, how do you know when it's almost over for you? So this actually turned on pretty quick. It was actually the click of a button. But we'll power this all up in just a second. Let me go backwards and see what all you get in this kit because this is a lot of accessories. So first off, you got, uh, what is this? Oh, it's a splitter. Oh, okay, cool. So you can plug this into your power source, like your phone brick or something like this, or your charger. And you have a split micro USB uh, plug right there. So that way you can charge two devices at the same time without having to have cords everywhere. Now let's look at these. These look like uh, dead cats for the lav mics. Wow, okay, yeah, so these are little dead cats. You get two of them in here. Let me just open them both up. So you get two dead cats for your lavalier mics that actually come in here. What is this? Okay, this is a cold shoe mount. So you can just mount that there. And this is probably gonna attach to uh, the receiver. Where's the receiver? Okay, the receiver has RX on it and both transmitters have TX. So you put these on your subject and you plug this into the camera and you can actually mount this on your cold shoe on your camera. And this uh, belt clip right here, instead of putting it on a belt or something like that, you can just kind of clip it in there. Let me squeeze that in there right now. Yep, it squeezes in, locks itself in place. And that way you can just mount this on the cold shoe of your camera. So let's leave that connected right there and we'll go into some more accessories. Is this another split USB uh, cable? Do they give you two, seriously? Wow, they do, they give you two. Okay, so this is another uh, dual micro USB. So you can actually charge all three devices you have here with these two cables and then you'll still have one free to charge up whatever else you need to charge for. That is genius, man. I've actually never seen this before, so I'm thinking it's super cool. I'm gonna be using this like all the time. So let's go into this box. Oh wait, we got more stuff here. We got some clips. Okay, so these are the little clips that you can put on your shirt or your collar. Uh, for the lavalier mics, you get two. I'm only gonna pull out one. Here's one right there. So you clip the lav right there in that part, then you can clip these little alligator teeth onto your shirt. Nice to have that. Now let's put this case to the side and get to the last item. Okay, well, yeah, wow, we got a bunch of stuff in this little box. Okay, let's just empty it out. All right, what do we have here? Let me see. We have, this is, this is, Okay, this is a mobile phone adapter. So if you're gonna use this with your mobile phone, you actually plug um, one 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter in the audio side, plug that into your uh, to your receiver, and then this side goes directly into your phone, which is a TRRS. So you plug that in there, you got your phone adapter. It's not powered, so you don't have to worry about anything like that. And then we have here your regular microphone cable, which is a 3.5 to 3.5 TRS. So yeah, they've hooked you up all the way. So you got straight from microphone to camera or straight from uh, receiver to camera. And if you're using your mobile phone, you have the TRRS adapter here for a phone. And then we get to the lav mics. Let me open these bad boys up. Man, you get a lot of stuff, man. They really like complete the kit here. So with these labs, you get spare wind muffs. So you get four wind muffs all together. One comes attached to the mic itself and then you get some spares and then you get some dead cats, which is what you're gonna need if you're out in the wind. Maybe I'll test these when I go outside and test this microphone. Yes, I'm gonna test it outside. So you get your lav mics. Let me see how long these cables are. These lav mics are about torso length long. So you're definitely gonna wear 
the uh, the receiver or the transmitter on your belt clip or something like that and you'll just run this up your shirt. What I'm noticing right here is that they have these little collars that you can spin onto the uh, the receiver. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's take one of these receiver, I'm sorry, the transmitter. Transmitter receiver, you know what I'm talking about. So it has your mic in right there and that's where you just plug it in and then you tighten that up to make sure it doesn't come out by accident. Let me plug up both of them. Let me go ahead and plug this cable into the uh, the receiver right here. This one will go directly into my camera that I'm recording with right now. So when I go outside, I'll go ahead and plug in the line out because this will be line out and I'll plug this directly into my camera input. And you also can monitor uh, via headphone right here. So that's super nice that they have that there. Uh, you have a volume booster which will give you a little volume boost. You know what, let me get all these spare accessories. Man, they give you so many spares. I just realized they give you a clip here and then they give you a spare here, so you got a spare for everything. So as far as losing something, don't worry about it, man, they got you. Let me get all this stuff out of the way so all we see here is what we need to see since there's so much stuff. So we have the receiver right here, which is not plugged into a camera or audio recorder, but we have our transmitters right here. Let's just go ahead and, you know what, forget all this stuff at the table, man. Let's go outside and see how these things really work. Hey, sorry to bother you while you are uh, watching the video and everything, but this is important, man. You know what would be really, really cool? Is if you would like hit the subscribe button. Yeah, it's down there, right there. Yeah, hit that. And then, you know, that little bell next to it. Why don't you hit that bell too and, and click on those notifications because you might want to know when I upload a new video from time to time. I do them actually pretty often. It'd be great if you'd watch them. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. All right, see ya. We now return to your regular programming. Man, this is just ridiculous. Y'all got me out here looking like I got my hairy nipples exposed. So both mics are on right now and I'm probably 20 feet away from the microphone. I'm, I don't know if, I, I, yeah, I'll go out and do a, a range test to see where these things actually cut out. Uh, typically you would not be filming your subject from this far away. So let me just come in, that way I can get a normal distance between the camera and the subject. Like I said earlier, right now I got both, uh, this is microphone A, this is microphone B, and they're both uh, taking in audio right now. So let me speak in the, hey, let me speak into my nipple real quick. Hey, what's up nipple, how you doing? And then I'll speak into the nipple B, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll speak into mic A. No, I'm sorry, I, I got all messed up. Okay, I'll speak into uh, mic B. Hey nipple, what's going on man, how you doing? I'm good, what's up? So yeah, so now you can hear both mics at the same time and you can hear them individually as I speak into them. I'm really glad they give you the wind muff or the dead cat because it's super windy out here and I got this dude like edging grass and stuff. So I'm gonna make this real quick because he's gonna be over here kicking up dust and grass in my face. I just wanted to give you guys a quick audio test. I hope it sounds good because I'd really like to use these mics in some future projects. Man, I'll tell you what, it seems like every time I decide to go outside and do some shooting, whether it be for a video like this or for a professional project or whatever, it seems like all the elements just line up as a force against me. You got like wind, you got thunderstorms, you got people cutting grass and kids. What were those kids? There was kids out there, you didn't see them. What were the kids out there for? It's like school time. Why, why you ain't getting your education? Anyways, I decided to come inside and stop fighting the elements. And that way it gave me a chance to give you an audio test where you're kind of in a studio setting. So when I was outside, I had the volume boost on plus and this audio you're hearing right now, the volume boost is on minus. I don't even know how much of a gain you get from that, but outside it was on plus and inside right now, this audio right now, it's on the minus. So that way you can kind of get a feel for how things are gonna work out for you maybe. Anyways, I like all the stuff they give you with this mic. I mean, they literally give you everything that you need. Like you don't have to go buy any extra connectors or adapters, wind muffs, dead cats, nothing, man. Even the battery's built in and you get a six to eight hour charge on it and everything seems to be working fine. So hopefully this audio sounds really good because I would love to use this thing in a future project because it's so compact. Look, I ain't no expert on this kind of stuff. I just got a problem, man. I like checking out new camera and audio and video gear. I got kind of like a fetish. It's definitely a certified problem. And this is how I deal with it. This is my therapy. Anyways, if y'all had a good time checking out this mic set with me, throw the emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? 
are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?